Catholicism is about reality. Mm. Okay. So before we decide, oh, sh- you know, should we have Jesus on the cross or should we just have an empty crucifix or in regards to death, should we focus more on death or le- less on death? The question, the underlying question is, well, wait a minute. first we have to start from what is real? What is the nature of things? What is reality? And the reality is we are going to die. So Catholicism always brings us back. That's the virtue of prudence. It brings us back to start with, well, what what are things as they are? What is mm. the reality? What is the truth here? Now, once, we, once we're rooted in that, then we go figure out how to live it out or how to have the right balance in these things, whatever. But it always begins with the truth. Mm-hmm. And so it's not, it's not a mat- matter of being um, morbid to focus on death. We're not trying to just be either pessimistic or optimistic here. We want to be people of reality. And then once we've rooted ourselves in that reality, then we figure out how to live it out. But the reality is here that life is temporary. We're going to die, you know, but, but life has a purpose. You know, we have a creator, we're chosen and cherished. We've been made for a purpose. Um, death isn't the end. So those are all realities too, but it always comes, it, it comes back to looking at all those realities first and then try to translate that. Okay. How, how do I then live? Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. And I think that there's also from a psychological standpoint, um, there's so much value in being rooted in reality, even just for your own health, um, to operate functionally as a person. And uh, a lot a lot of uh, where wounds originate from, rather not originate from, but where the wounds that we have from the past, the ways in which they still impact negatively our lives in the present yeah. uh, or in the future is actually largely related to not being rooted in reality. So like to a trauma victim, Mm -hmm. that trauma damages them in an ongoing way based on a perception at a subconscious level usually that that trauma is still being inflicted on them. Mm -hmm. Like the the memory of it is like a haunting effect that like doesn't go away because at a subconscious level, people, you know, that are trauma victims uh, to varying degrees, like they, they are always feeling that trauma as though it's happening right now. And yeah. and even just that, the idea of like f- flipping the switch and uh, like meditating in almost a mantra sense on this idea that like, that is not happening to me anymore. Mm-hmm. Like it is, it's done, it's in the past. Right now, I'm healthy, I'm loved, I'm at peace. I'm, you know, um, I can heal, I am healed. Like, yeah. and so there is this sense in which being rooted in all senses of reality can bring healing and and so connecting this to spiritual uh ideas as well like the reality that we are going to die and the the uh subsequent reality that it doesn't end there Mm -hmm. and that eternity is eternal and that is really what the point is you know this life is about this life just as much as a prenatal baby in the womb that baby's life is about the nine months he's in his mother's womb. No, that baby's life in the womb is about his life when he gets out of the womb. And our life here on earth in a similar way is about heaven when we get out of the womb of this veil. And we live as though it's like when the baby is in the womb, he's like, he has no idea what's on the other side. He sees glimmers. He sees lights coming through sometimes and, and he hears his mother's voice, but he doesn't know where it comes from. And in a similar way, when, when the Lord, when the saints, when the angels pierce the veil in various ways, and in particular in the sacraments, and we get this little f- taste of what's on the other side of that, mm-hmm. you know, and the baby hears the mother's voice and starts developing this relationship with the baby's mother. And, you know, the baby starts to have a, a love for that voice, even without understanding it. But what really that baby's life is about is on the other side. And so for us, like, we have the sacraments, we have the church, we have the saints, the angels, like everything that is on the other side of it, eternal life, love, joy, peace, bliss, like um, all of these things that, that we know about heaven, which is a very limited understanding, kind of like the baby's limited understanding of his mother. Right. And we live, though, as though the womb is the end all be all. Someone might look at this and say, okay, well, a focus on death is morbid and pessimistic, so you should be optimistic. You should err in the other direction. But no, there, we have to live in the tension of these two things, that we are made for the, this next life, that we are always people on the way, status viator is the Latin phrase, for people on the way. Uh, that's just the nature of life. We're pilgrims, as you said in the beginning. That we're pilgrims. We're always pilgrims. But at the same time, there's, there's value in life. 
and we're living a good life. And, and, and to some degree right here, in some degree, you couldn't, you could go too far in the other direction too and saying, oh, it's all about what comes next. And right, right now it doesn't matter at all. Well, that can't be right either. So again, Catholicism is all about finding those both ends and, and figuring out, rooting ourselves in those realities, living them out well. Mm -hmm.